Today, I wanna to give you my top five tips on how you can be successful in IT. Hey, what's good, you two? I'm Dewan. I'm gonna give you five tips that I wish I knew in the beginning. I had to learn through trial and error and through many failures to get to where I am at today. And I'm still not where I wanna be. I'm still climbing. People ask me about the CCIE. Honestly, if I get it, I get it. If I don't, I'm embracing my journey. There's so much I wanna learn. There's so many people I wanna help and there's so many things that I wanna do. So regardless of where I go, as long as I know I'm embracing this journey, life is gonna turn out great because I am definitely living my purpose. So with that being said, let's talk about my top five tips to help you be successful in your IT career. Now, I think first and foremost, what we need to discuss is you. In order to be successful in anything that you do, especially in a customer facing, customer service, customer oriented position, you have to understand that you are building your brand. Throughout these tips, I'm going to stress building your brand, establishing a foundation where people can trust you, recognize your abilities, embrace your abilities, and you build a great relationship with everyone you come in contact with. That is so important. So with no further ado, the first thing I want to talk about is being on time. I can't stress how often I hear or see LinkedIn posts about people never showing up to interviews, being late to interviews, not contacting recruiters, coming in late to work, all of the above. Remember, we're talking building your brand. And being on time is a great way to let people know that you respect their time, you respect your own time, and that you mean business. So whether it's your first day on the job, whether it's an interview, be on time. Matter of fact, show up early. And then along with being on time, don't stop working till it's time to leave. Being on time will show your manager, your teammates, everyone that comes in contact with you, the, your customers, that you are reliable, you're dependable. That will help you build your credibility throughout your career because they know if there's something going on at eight o'clock in the morning, you will be there to service them. Be on time. That's number one on the list, be on time. And number two on the list goes along with being on time, show up. Rain, sleet, or snow, show up. Because that will build your brand, your reliability, your dependability, and your credibility. If your manager does not have to worry about you being there for support, do you know how good that will build your relationship and the rapport with not only your manager, your teammates, and your customer, but it builds your brand. Because who knows? I'm going to stress this also. Your manager, it could be your first manager, your next manager. He could go off, get a new position five years from now, and need somebody that's reliable, dependable, and credible to come in and manage a team, lead a project, or just come in to work side by side, this manager, he's gonna call you because he knows that you get the job done, you're reliable, you're dependable, and you're credible, and you are a rock star. So once again, number one, be on time. Number two, show up, and then show out. You feel me? Put in work, let people know that you are here, and you mean business, and you have a purpose, that you are destined to fulfill and nothing's going to stop you. Number three on the list, as we're approaching that brand awesomeness that you are building and establishing is be kind. Treat people with respect, treat people with dignity, and treat people how you want to be treated. 
I say this again. Treat people how you want to be treated. Treat them with kindness, dignity, and respect. Look, I don't know how many times I come across people that have bad days. I have bad days. We all have bad days. But I come across people with bad days, and they may be treating me like crap. I've been on, I've been on the service side of things for so long that it does not affect me. It does not bother me. I'm going to keep this smile regardless of how you feel. This is how I feel. So that is my approach to anybody I deal with. And you don't know how often people told me how I made them feel, even though they're having a bad day, even though their laptop isn't working, even though the site's down, even though they're losing all this money. The fact that I treat them with respect, I listen to their problems. I do my best to build a rapport and let them know that I am working on them issues and I care. Be genuine. I treat everybody the same. Now, granted, if he's a CEO, he's my manager, he's a director, she's a director, she's a manager, she's a CEO. Of course, if they have a sad one, they have an outage, they're going to have priority. But that doesn't mean I'm going to treat the person with the keyboard issue or treat the person that can't connect through VPN that works on the production side any different. I'm going to treat them with the same dignity and respect. Because if I am working on my director's issues or another director's issue, what I'm going to do with that person that can't connect through VPN or that person that has a severity five ticket, I'm going to say, hey, I'm working on this outage or I'm working on this issue currently. Soon as I have time, I will address your issue. But in the meantime, you could call the help desk at this number or here's a wiki link to how you make your troubleshoot it yourself or I can talk to someone on my team to reach out to you or you can contact this person at this number. I build a relationship, I build a rapport, I communicate, and that's how you build a brand. That's how people know they can trust you, they can depend on you, and they can rely on you. It's about building a brand. You don't have to be the smartest person in the room all the time. Honestly, be the person that's the most curious, the most reliable, the most dependable, and the most credible person in the room. That's what's going to build your brand. That's what's going to make you a rock star. Number four, along with that, is building relationships with your team, your management, and those around you. When I say building relationships, you wonder, how do you do that? How do you build relationships at work? Well, if you work on a team, let's talk about outages. Let's talk about troubleshooting issues. You get to work first. Okay, there's an outage that goes on. You resolve it. You fix the issue. Three hours roll around, four hours go by, you go to lunch. Your manager asked someone on the team if they knew about this issue. Nobody knew about the issue. Hmm. That's going to hurt your reliability when your manager comes back and say, um, you know about this issue? Why didn't you tell me about this issue? Communication. That's going to build your reliability. That's what's going to build your credibility. So whenever you troubleshoot a ticket, whenever you work with a customer, annotate in your tickets the communication that you established, the troubleshooting procedures that you attempted, the results, and if the ticket's closed, or if you're still in the process of working on it and the process and the procedures that you are taking, do all of those steps in your tickets. Communicate with your manager, communicate with your team. That's how you build your reliability, your dependability, and your credibility. That's how you build relationships, especially on teams, because people know they trust you. You can be Dennis Rodman, John Paxton, Scottie Pippen that build the Bulls. You don't have to be Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan wanted them people on the team, and they all won championships. And to this day, Steve Kerr is still successful as a coach, just as successful as he was with the Bulls. You feel me? So what I'm telling you is that's how you build your brand, by the work that you do and the way you make people feel and the way people know that they can rely on you, depend on you, and you're credible. I can't, I can't stress building your brand enough. Because whether you want to be a network engineer, 
a system administrator, you want to work in DevOps, it does not matter. Just do the basics. Start there. Learn. Continue learning. Continue growing and build your brand. Dress to impress. Dress for success. Be confident and know that your day is coming. Okay, before we move on to the next point, I talked about building relationships with your team, with your manager, communicating with them. Let's talk about one of the most important pieces to building a brand into this puzzle, the customer. When you're working with customers, if a customer calls you or opens a ticket and says, hey, I can't connect to this server. Okay, that's what the ticket states. Don't go in and just fix the ticket unless you know there's an outage. But don't go in and just assume you know the issue and close the ticket and the customer still can't connect and they're looking like, that's gonna hurt your credibility, that's gonna hurt your reliability and your dependability. Call up the customer, send an email to the customer, listen to the issue, don't cut them off, let them talk, let them express, empathize with them, listen to the issue that they are having to get a full understanding of what the issue may be. Once you establish what you think the issue may be and what you hear that they are saying, replay it back to them so they know that you fully heard and you fully understand and you empathize with the issue that they're facing. Once you do that, now we troubleshoot. Now we work on the issue. Now we close the ticket. Once we establish that they have full connectivity and they can access whatever they need to access. That's how you build reliability, dependability, and credibility in a brand in IT. I'm just trying to help you be a rock star, unicorn, whatever you want to call yourself. You can be all that and above and more. All right, number five on this list. First, we talked about being on time. Second, we talked about showing up. Third, we talked about treating people with kindness, dignity, and respect. And fourth, we talked about building relationships. Number five on the list, we're going to talk about you. Learning. Continual learning is everything. I can't stress labbing every day enough. It's not about just getting in the lab and troubleshooting because I, I don't think I bring this up enough. Most of your experience and your real world experience is going to come from the field. Hands down, that's the life's best teacher. But to have a basic understanding, lab every day. But outside of just labbing every day in the lab, let's talk about learning. If you are in a position to where your employer pays for tuition reimbursement, they pay for tuition assistance, they pay for certifications, they pay and embrace your education and learning, take full advantage. Especially if you're like in the military or whatever, get those certifications, get certified, get your degrees, whatever on the company's done, and give back all that knowledge. And if they don't pay, Still learn. Don't stop learning because ain't nobody else paying for it. You should be the number one investing. You should be the number one investor in your future. Learning, knowledge, courses, boot camps, whatever it takes for you to get to where you want to be, invest in it and make it happen. You can risk it on Bitcoin. Cool. Then get money. Do what you do. But ultimately, investing in your learning and your education is going to make you way more money than Bitcoin. Wait a minute. Unless Bitcoin goes 100,000 times, then yes. But at the same time, most of the people that invested in Bitcoin got educated first. Some people got lucky. Most of them got educated first. So I say that. Invest in your education. No matter what you do, what you want to do, get educated on it. Become the most knowledgeable. Get your 10,000 hours in the field and become an expert. And still keep learning. Keep grinding. Shout out to Darby Weaver. Shout out to everybody that's out there giving back, putting in the work, and living out their purpose. I'm telling you, 
Invest in your education and your learning. Let me tell you a trick. Sometimes employers, even though they may not pay for education, if you find a course or something that can add value to your position and, and help automate some tasks or put you in a position to <clears throat> be more productive, bring it up to your manager. Say, hey, I found this boot camp. They're teaching Ansible or they're teaching Python and I want to aut automate these processes and it will really help me improve things, add value, cut costs, sell it to your manager. And if he's a good manager, he's going to invest in you because he wants you to succeed because if you succeed, it, he succeeds and everybody looks good. That's the type of manager I love to work for and that's the type of manager if you work for, embrace it. Build that relationship, build your brand because ultimately, a good manager like that that wants to invest in you is going to help you in this position at this company and when you leave to go to another company, he'll help you get there wherever you want to go. Trust me, I've worked for some awesome managers. Look, build your brand. Get successful, take these tips, become a rock star, live out your dreams, live out your purpose, get those certifications, get the job that you dream of, get those skills that you dream of. You can do it. No matter if the road that you are on is moving turtle slow. Trust me, one moment you may wake up and wish it was still moving that slow. Because... <laughs> I've been there. I've been on some projects just here recently to where I could not sleep. I was having nightmares because I was afraid of failing. But even then, when you get to that point, embrace it because you will learn from it. Look, this is a journey. Embrace your journey. Embrace your, your purpose. Keep learning. Build your brand. I hope you enjoyed this video. I appreciate everyone that subscribed to my channel. Share this video, like, leave comments in the section below. I want to hear your story. I want to hear about your journey. And if you have any tips for those that may be going through the same journey as you or coming behind you or you just want to talk about these topics, leave them in the comment section below so we can have a great discussion. I appreciate everyone's support. Let's get it. It's the first month of 2018 and I feel great and I hope you do too. Peace.